Okay, so recently I was chatting with someone online and they were having trouble adding the start date and finish date to their work item. They got the columns like I do here, start date and finish date, which you can add in the column options, but they couldn't get it to appear on the work item itself. So what you need to do is go up to your organization, go to organization settings, and on the left here under boards, click process. And now you can customize one of your custom processes. You can't select the default ones because it doesn't let you change the fields in there. Uh, you can add, click on the three dots here and click on uh, create inherited process to make one. So we've got test new process based off of Scrum. We're going to go into the item we want to add a field to. And here we're going to go new field. And we're going to use an existing field because it's already one that exists. Start date. And we'll add that. And then again, for finish date. And these ones here line up with the same column names that we added before. That's um, why they're an existing field. And we add that there. And then what we also need to do is go back to our process. And we need to go to what our project currently is. So currently it's on Scrum. We can see under here the project. And this is our project. And if we click on here, we can change the process. And we'll select our new one, which is test new process. And close that. Now if we go back to our project. And back to the work items. And if we click on this work item, now we'll see that the start date and the finish date fields have appeared here. So if we select a start date, and we'll select a finish date, and make sure it's after the start date, and save that. And then if we go back to our work items and scroll across, now we can see the start date and finish date have appeared here. Hope that helps.